morning from North Croatia where it's actually 17 degrees at the moment and we've been in 40 for the past few days so it feels pretty chilly anyway we're off to a place called Pula today which is a famous city here in Croatia with an old Roman amphitheater so let's go have a look So this is going to be news to Julia as well, but we've been on the red for quite a while and the nearest petrol station is 30 kilometres away. So <laughs> she may have wondered why I turned the aircon off and why I'm trying to drive as smooth as possible. Hopefully we make it. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't drive, so I will be the fucker that pushes the car. Actually, that's true. You better start warming up. Welcome to Pula! <laughs> we made it! So we're just pulling into Pula and we've been stuck on the toll road just going through the pay side so you get a card at the beginning of the road and then you have to pay as you exit you've seen it in one of our videos we thought the queue was so giant because there is only one booth open we thought like further we go everyone's gonna move into one lane but no, there is like four open and we picked one queue. So let's see how that goes. <laughs> seems it's not to gonna be, go well. Seems we already to be know the it's not gonna go well. So far, yeah. <laughs> that was 10 euros. Absolute rip-off. This amphitheater better be good. We just spent about 20 minutes going around the city trying to find a parking space. Oh my god, we just stopped and there is a boat in front and it's moving. <laughs> For a second the car was moving. Anyway, um, every single car park is full and we found a spot and I just went to check out if we're actually allowed to park here. And I'm here doing an important job of guarding a car <laughs> in case anyone walks up to it. <laughs> I'm gonna look out. So what's the deal? So we're allowed to park here, we just need to download an app and pay online. So we just pulled out because we couldn't pay online. Uh, the app wouldn't work on Matt's phone and it wouldn't work on my phone either. Right, we managed to park. There was two apps that you could have downloaded and paid for the parking on, but neither of them worked. They both kept trying to log off. They both logged off every time that we were trying to pay. So we managed to find a little bit of change and we've got exactly one hour to explore Pula, so let's go. We managed to park right next to the amphitheater and the history behind this place is incredible and it's preserved so well. Apparently now it's used for concerts.
thanks to its location on the very tip of the Istrian Peninsula, Pula is an incredibly strategic city and it's been occupied, ruined, rebuilt many times over the past thousand or so years. It's been taken over by the Romans, the Venetians and even the Allied forces in World War II. Right, we've got five minutes to get back and it's a definite 10 minute walk. <laughs> Just with about 20 seconds to go. That was guesstimated. <laughs> it's even worse now. We are good. Look at that. 57 and 21 seconds. 57. Bang on the money. Never in doubt. booked a random guest house. If you didn't notice, we decided to give up on the camping side because it's way more expensive to camp here than book a guest house. So let's go. Also, we've taken the scenic route, which should take like an hour longer, so three hours, because we're too tired to pay for the toll roads. I'm sorry, but it's 10 euros again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, no. No, no, no. It's not even being tight at this point, is it? It's just like not wanting to throw your money in the air. Yeah. <laughs> We just pulled over because as we were driving off we spotted this view and oh my god. And it's so cool again. So nice. <laughs> we were just saying that for us, that's one of the most beautiful landscapes when. You see the fir trees and the water vapor coming off on the hillside. We're just so happy that we chose to come through this road rather than on like a main road because you get to go through these little villages and you see the real countryside and stunning views like that is just mind blowing. And we we're just saying it's really healing, it feels really good for the soul. Right, we checked in a little while ago. Let's show you around. It's so much bigger than it is in the picture. Yeah, definitely. So a workspace, another workspace. I know. And even there. <laughs> a third workspace. You can work so much in here. <laughs> Shame we're here for one night. I know, that sort of place you would take like a week, it's so gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Like the views outside as well. Oh, I looked at it.
There is a river. Over there. So we're right up in the mountains here. And it was obviously cooler this, e this morning. It was like 17 degrees. But here I think it's even cooler than that. It's probably down into the low teens. And for dinner tonight, we have pasta. We have pesto. And it's going to be pesto pasta. <laughs> With some tuna. You know, protein and all that. Iron. <laughs> I'm lacking iron, okay? I'm anemic, so I needed that. Now it's pesto time. Smells good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah. Pasta is actually nice with tuna. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's good one. We just had dinner and now we're going to spend the rest of the evening working. So thanks for watching this video and see you in the next one. Oh.